Hey guys, welcome back to another Prime Script video tutorial series video. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about constant form of variable. Okay, in our previous video, we discussed about the literal form and its types. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the constant form and its types. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. And also please hit the bell icon so that you'll be the first one to know whenever we upload a video about the Pine script or Forex. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first we need to define what is constant form. The constant or the cost form is basically which in which it does not change during the script execution. Okay, its value is defined. Once it's defined, it remains constant. It does not change. Okay, and it is either known or it can be calculated at the compile time. So once the code starts to compile, the value of cost will already be known or it will be calculated at the compile time. Okay, and it is typically referred to as constant. So just like literal form there are five types of constant form okay and those types are constant integer constant float constant string constant boolean and constant color okay and all these types have their own usage and significance okay so if we go through an example here here you can see that c1 is equal to zero so now here this is basically our literal int okay and the zero is literal in which is being assigned to this constant integer so we are basically defining a constant integer and we're assigning it a value of a literal integer okay so here you can see again that this c2 is basically a constant integer and we are assigning it a value of this c1 plus one so let me just put an equal sign here and here you can see that this is basically our constant and as we already discussed that c1 is also constant so we are assigning our constant integer a value of constant integer plus a literal integer because literal integer is one so this is being calculated at the compile time now this one is already known as we discussed that either the value of constant form is already known or it will be calculated at compile time so this c2 is basically the one which will be calculated at the compile time and here again we're suggesting or giving our c3 a value of c1 plus one okay so this is basically again going to be constant integer this one is constant integer and this again is constant integer plus literal integer and this again is being calculated at the end of our compile or during the code compilation okay and we can also reassign a constant value so if you want to reassign there's a specific syntax that you should use and this is basically the reassignment syntax that you need to use if you want to assign a new value to a constant so here we can see that if open is greater than close which basically happens a lot of times in forex this basically means that our candle is basically bearish and red candle so if we we want to say that if our candle is bearish or open is greater than close then we want to reassign the c3 a value of zero okay and right now it has value of one but if we, the candle is bearish we want to reassign a, it a value of zero so now what we're doing is we are giving it a constant integer being reassigned during the script execution and we're casting c3 into a series which will be the next form that we will discuss in our series okay so from here you can see what are different types of constant form or and what basically constant form means let me just repeat that the constant form is the one that does not change during the script and its value is either known or can be calculated at the compile time and it has five types which are basically constant integer constant float constant string constant boolean and constant color so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them and also please make sure to subscribe to our channel and you can also visit our website www.forexv.co in order to learn more about PineScript and Forex. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.